Welcome back, my friends. This is Craig, and we are here playing a single-player series. And this is just going to be a temporary. We're doing the Minecraft modded hardcore challenge for March 2015. And this is the restaurant challenge. And um, this is something new. Um, the Minecraft hardcore challenge is... is something that I've done on my channel before with the group. Um, this one's a little bit different. I'm doing it single player. This is the modded version that was created by AF Bunny and Magic Dad 76 um, And similar idea to the vanilla um, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge where you have a monthly challenge to complete and it is in a hardcore world and you have various rules to follow etc etc um, this makes it a little more interesting using mods which is right up my alley I really enjoy using mods especially this specific mod pack for this month um, the mod pack will change monthly as the challenge will change monthly and um, we're kind of competing against everyone else participating uh, with no prizes involved the points don't matter the whole nine yards and this month uh, we are challenged to build a visually attractive restaurant that is stocked with the most diverse menu as possible and I do not want to do this on multiplayer um, I did create a test world just to make sure all the new mods and stuff functioned properly um, but we're gonna call this MMHC March 2015 game mode hardcore more world options we have a specific seed to put in here and it is as follows and i am reading it as i type it because i cannot spell restaurant and i'm gonna just double check that i spelled it correctly yes okay so that is the seed restaurant 2015 challenge Structures on, world type default, done, hardcore, create new world. And while this loads, talk a little bit about the challenge, or the mods that are installed. Um, on this mod pack, we have chisel, we have a pool of water, um, and I'm going to start collecting because we are under a bit of a time constraint. Um, so we have chisel installed on here. We have Mr. Crayfish Furniture, which is really cool. I haven't played it along too much with it, but I have done a little bit with it on ISO, so it makes some really cool furniture in there. Um, we have not enough items, any eye, to assist in crafting recipes and things of that sort. We have Pam's Harvest Craft for the food items, which this reminds me, inventory, recipe mode, okay. I didn't know if that would carry over between worlds or not. And um, we also have Wayla. What am I looking at? Um, so you can tell what you're looking at. So we are going to start off here by running around and gathering some resources as you do in beginning level Minecraft. We're probably going to live in this village at least for the first few nights because I don't want to get murdered. Hmm. Hey guys. Um, I think this is a very small village. Is it just those two? No crops. Hmm. Mm, no bueno. Tiny little village. Okay. So, way this works, everything is required to be on camera. Um, so I can do no off-camera work, and we do three videos per week. So I will be doing, I'm going to carry this wood with me and we'll just go out and collect stuff. Um, <clears throat> uh, three videos per week, uploads on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I may alter that a bit just because um, I have some conflicts with uh, another series at the moment. Um, because there is a plus and minus one day, so I could do Monday and Wednesday and Friday. It'll still be okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read the rules while I'm doing this, and it's not working out very well. Um, there's no sleeping the nights away. You must be up all night. 
Um, no AFK crop growth or anything like that. It just goes along with the everything on camera. Um, hardcore mode, which we already did that. One episode is one day and night. And if you look up on the upper left-hand corner, it actually counts out the days for you, which is really nice. So if I'm underground, I know when the day has changed. Uh, we'll grab some birch. There's some exposed stone. Let's get some tools going. Um, I don't anticipate to get a whole lot done this episode. And, and then, of course, it's rain over lava. Honestly, I don't anticipate to get a lot done in this series. It's a pretty tall order to get a restaurant and everything fully stocked in 13 20 minute chunks. Here's some food. Um, main, hmm, mainly because I am overly detailed and I have a feeling I'm going to get lost in some minute detail and not get anything accomplished. Because that's the way I function. Um, any diamonds and any villages must be brought up on the coordinates. So once we get back to that village, I'll show the coordinates on camera. Because I forgot. There's some horses. Hello, horses. Hello, sheep. We sell some mutton in our restaurant. Okay, there's some there's some stone there. I am not getting off to a very good start. I'm just kind of running around, not quite knowing what to do. Um, as you can tell, I did not uh, look at the seat ahead of time, so I have no idea where anything is. So I'm just kind of running around getting my bearings at the moment. Here's my pick. You. 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 Come here. I need you for things and stuff. Alright. Expedite this process a bit. Um, so I don't really have a plan for the restaurant. It's going to depend on what kind of ingredients I, I can acquire. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, we'll kind of go from there as to what... Get out of here. What I make my restaurant out to be. You go there. You go there. You go there. Okay. Uh, There's some food that is seafood. I'm probably not going to make a lot of seafood product because I do not like seafood in real life. And that does not seem like something I would sell in a restaurant of mine. My restaurant would have cheeseburgers and pizza and mozzarella sticks and everything that you probably should never eat. That is the restaurant I would make. Pancakes? I would make a pancake place. That'd be pretty awesome. I do enjoy pancakes. I would not mind finding some chickens. We could do some omelets and stuff. Um, I know there's various forms of pizza. We can make a pizza place. Um, just trying to think off the top of my head what I know is in Pam's. Um, so those little gardens that are in the grass, those are good. That's where you get all your veggies. And then we can plant things. What is this? There's some more veggies. There's some more down there. These ones right here are pumpkins and stuff. Berries. Ah! That was some terrible lag. No mutton. I was told this would have mutton. Yep, oh, there it is. I can make a bed, but I can't sleep through the night. Ooh, acacia wood. That'll be handy. <clears throat> Alright. And then once the sun starts going down, which it is 2 o'clock right now. Um, so once the sun starts going down, then we'll start thinking about going down and maybe mining. Um, I've got a lot of materials to collect in a very short amount of time. 
food is going to be key in the restaurant challenge because I also need to eat to survive. Thank you. Um, so I have an odd feeling that a good majority of the stuff that I've already collected will wind up in my tummy. Cantaloupe. Yeah, okay, got a good chunk of food already. Um, there are sandwiches you can make, peanut butter and jelly and jams and stuff like that. Um, running out of inventory space already? Nope, I got two more spots. I don't see any more gardens immediately. Ooh, what are these? What are these? What are these? Grass garden. Oh, yeah. Like, Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, get rid of you, snail. I ain't gonna eat stale. Psh. Shrimp. I want no shrimp. Corn. Yes, I want corn. Clams. I don't want clams. We're going to be a very carb-heavy restaurant. That's how I roll. Another gourd one. I don't know what that was. I just ate, but it's gone now. Oh, no. Stick and a plank. Okay, we got enough stuff. So we know there's a ton of food around here. There's a ton of sheep. Gotta go back to that village. We gotta stop sprinting. Alright, I think it's right up over the sand dune. Do I want to eat raw mutton? Yep, it didn't hurt. Okay. That was a bit of a risk. I wasn't sure if we were going to get hunger or not. I could be completely wrong about that village being over here. I should have looked at the coordinates. Oh, villagers! Some more prickly pears there. Okay, do I see a village? No. Okay, there's the acacia, there's the, um, savanna. Uh-oh. It's farther that way? Did I run that far? Ow. 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 This might, need, might not be a bad spot in the savanna here either, because I need to get inside someplace quickly. There's cows here. Cows are good. By good, I mean delicious. These prickly pears don't really do a lot for me for hunger. Alright, so that village is gone. It just doesn't exist. We live here now. All right, let's put you down. Wow, getting some double click action going on. Some coal for a torch. Make this a little more YouTube friendly. Okay, this is a good little hole. Let's grab some cobble, start cooking up our mutton. That mutton will get us through the night until we can go slaughter those cows. Um, I do plan on breeding some of them as well. Get some coal. 
need to make a hoe and start planting this stuff immediately. So the more I can get growing, the better. Stove. Buy corn. Mutton. You can go in there. Let's make a couple chests for some food. There's that. And we'll dump all the veggies in there. Sweet potato. So this will be our food chest. There you go. There's that. Um, cook up. Get it all. Pumpkin. I think I can eat you. And then I need two of you. And we'll do that for everything else. Are you mutton yet? Ooh, that's really good. That was four haunches. Alright, I just want to collect up some coal, and then we're going to start digging down for a cave. I'm not 100% sure what time day one starts. If it's at midnight or if it's at like 6 a.m. So we'll keep an eye on that. Day one may be short or day zero. Um, grab, some more, grab some more wood. Take along with me. Eight. All right. Let's dig ourselves a staircase down. I'm really fighting to keep everything efficient. Like a single wide staircase. Oop, iron, good. Get a bucket going. No, come here. Thank you. Can we get a bucket before the end of day one? I gotta cook it first. If we can get a bucket, that would be ideal, and I can start growing immediately at dawn. <clears throat> Alright, it's still day zero. So day one must start at sunrise. I haven't heard any mobs yet. Not that I'm complaining. I would like a cave, though. A cave would be nice. I could use some more iron. Thank you. Couldn't have given me a cave, though, could have you? It was a good chunk. This is eight. Once I get the staircase dug out, I'll throw some stairs on here. Expedite the running. Get my food, my torches it backwards. Ooh, what is this? Marble? Oh, marble. You will be mined out, my friend. Limestone. I'll use that too. Yeah, I know. I'm digging dirt with a pick. I don't care. Alright, let's get up here throw the rest of this iron in. I hate hitting my head on the ceiling. Okay, you, you... You, thank you. Um, oh, I hear a zombie. There's that. Um, let's make a shovel since we got that dirt down there. <coughs> Place the axe. Wait for one more iron to make a new pick. Dude. While I'm at 
set it. I'll need that in the morning. Down here and finish digging. Now, I'm not going to be able to get anything like enchanted or anything like that. I'm not concerned about diamonds. Um, all I want is just enough iron to make essentially tools. And then I'm going to. I'll probably utilize wood for my main component in building. And then. Some of the marble and limestone and stuff like that. Stone, because I'm going to use a chisel block. Ooh, salt. We do need salt. Need a lot of salt. Hopefully, at some point, we can find an ocean biome not too far. Hey, Enderman, where are you at? You're close. There we are. Hello? Hello? Let's just do this. Because I don't like that. Day one, we're getting an ender pearl. Yeah! Yeah! I did not get. The first mob I kill is an enderman. No ender pearl. That was really loud. And sun is getting ready to come up, so I'm just gonna grab this iron so we can cook that during the day while we're farming. Is there any more easily accessible? Because day one is quickly approaching. Some more salt. Take you. I hear water, and it is day one. So I will see you guys next time. I'm going to finish up this caving in the next one. Bye-bye.